Welcome, my friends, to the Be a Paid Speaker Now podcast. I'm Deborah Darris, your host. Each week, you'll hear from top experts in the speaking industry who will share their insider secrets. Learn what works and what doesn't by hearing real stories of success and failure. My intention is to be your speaking coach to help you reach your goals faster and easier. I believe you are the messenger for the message. So thanks for tuning in and let's get started. Hello there and welcome to the Be a Paid Speaker Now podcast. I'm your host, Deborah Darris, professional speaker, author, and marketing consultant, and founder and creator of the Be a Paid Speaker Now Online Academy, where you learn step-by-step how to get paid to speak. So this podcast is something that has been a vision in my mind for literally three and a half years. Have you ever opened one of your journals, you go back and just are looking for a blank piece of paper, and you see your visions and your goals with the date and realize, oh my goodness, this has been on my heart and on my mind for so long. It's time now to birth this project. And this podcast has been a long time coming because I have been a professional speaker. I thought it was 16 years, but looking back at pictures and watching my first demo video, it's been 18 years. Now, (laughs) don't let my young face fool you. I, young looking, I should say, (laughs) I started speaking 18 years ago and I was not a little girl. I was a grown adult. And I used to get so insulted when people would say, please welcome Deborah Darris, the young speaker. And I'd be like, why are you calling me young? And now when I go to speak on stages and they call me young, I say, thank you for that. (laughs) Here's $100. (laughs) But being a professional speaker is not something that I thought, you know, when I'm a little girl, I want to be a paid speaker. I actually always thought I would be a teacher. And growing up, I would have all the kids gathered around me in the backyard with a flip chart and always with a marker in my hand. And I would be teaching them. I don't know what, but there would be lessons going on because I always had a burning desire in my heart to help people, to help people to learn something that would help them live a better life, that they could live a passionate life and be purposeful doing what they love, and being abundantly paid for it. In fact, my first business, once I quit my government job to pursue my coaching and speaking career, was called Passionate Living Now. But let me back up a little bit. How did I quit my job and why did I quit my job? My dad always wants to know. I had a secure, steady, state of California government job that my Colombian dad, immigrant to this country, said, This is where your security is. This is where your benefits are. You need to stay here till you retire. And that was going to be like 45 years. And I made it like, I think five years. (laughs) And I'm not a millennial, although I play one on TV. I quit this job because I had this passion in my heart that was ignited, that said, you have a calling to do something bigger than yourself. And this passion was really ignited when I was going to school. I was majoring in marketing because I always loved marketing. I just love everything about sharing products. To me, marketing was just sharing your products and how can you get it out there to help people? You, you notice the helping field always at the forefront. So I was you know, majoring in marketing like two two semesters away from graduating from a school university called Cal State LA. And I went to Cal State LA, great school, loved it so much. Um, I didn't even apply to like universities because I didn't know I could get in. I really kind of was on my own when I was going to school, to college. And um, when I was 19, there was an incident that made me change my whole course of my life. And it was when my brother... Uh, had an epileptic seizure in his sleep. He did not wake up one morning. It was February 16th, 1992. And my life changed forever. And the weekend before he passed, I actually spent the entire weekend with him because my boyfriend had flaked out on me. And I 
you know, was going to have a party with my girlfriends and complain about men. But I listened to my intuitive guidance system. And this is something that can really help you in your speaking career to go places fast, to turn within, listen, hear, and then take inspired action. And so my intuition said, spend the weekend with your brother, the best decision I ever made. Uh, I didn't have a car, but we, you know, took the bus to the mall, which is what Valley girls do and listen to Michael Jackson. Remember the time video was out. Patrick Johnson was in it. Iman, the coolest video ever Practiced the moves. And I never thought I would get the call that next morning that my brother had transitioned. But like I said, it changed my life forever. Uh, everyone at the school at Palmdale high was saying, what a tragedy. Your brother passed away. Uh, so sad. What a tragedy, tragedy, tragedy. And our world is really dictated by the questions we ask ourselves. So if I ask myself, why did I let this happen? Why did God take such a beautiful boy? I was living in victim consciousness. I had to ask a different question. And one day, um, one night, actually, I went to sleep and I asked a question, what is the lesson here? And when I was sleeping, my brother came to me in a dream. My brother, David, came in the dream. And he said, clear as day, I will never forget. He says, my death was not a tragedy. It was a destiny. And I was meant to be here for 16 years. And you are meant to be here for much longer. And you have a purpose to fulfill to help other people. And I woke up that next morning. And instead of having the survivor's guilt, instead of having the depression, instead of having the anxiety, instead of having the shame and blame, I felt empowered. I was like, wow, my brother just told me my whole reason for living, his whole reason for living, and everybody that I speak to reason for living, to fulfill our soul's contract. And my mentor, you may have heard of her, her name is Oprah. Every day at three o'clock, we would get together, she'd give me this great advice. And Oprah said to me, when you match your personality with your talents, you will be successful because that is your contract. That's why you came here. You can't not be successful. It's the whole reason for being here. And so I changed the trajectory of my whole studies from business marketing to counseling. So I got my master's degree in education. And when you are on purpose with your life, things blow. I mean, I was barely able to pay for my bachelor's degree. So I didn't even think about getting a master's degree, but I got a full paid grant, parking and everything, which by the way, $42 for parking was something I couldn't afford when I was an undergrad. And because I parked off campus, my cute little Honda CRX that I paid for myself was stolen. And I never got it back. The insurance never took care of it. It was just horrible. So having this full paid grant was everything. And it was like so fast to get my master's degree. It was like a year and a half, boom, I was done. And I went to work for a state agency to help people with disabilities like my brother to get jobs. And one day I saw that people were going out on disability. People were dying. People were retiring. And I realized that were the three ways people got out of there. Disability, death, or retirement. And when people would um, pass away, they would just clean the desk next day. And I was killing myself at this job and barely making any money. And I realized this was not the way to help people by burning out myself. In fact, that job inspired me to write my first book, which is called Confessions of an Adrenaline Addict, How to Achieve More with Less Effort. Because I saw people that were burning out and opting out. And I you know, I just asked again, because the quality of the question is the quality of our life. I asked again, what is my purpose? Use me. And I received this message in the dream that I was here to help people and not the people with the disabilities, but the people that help the people with the disabilities, social workers, counselors, rehabilitation people, mental health workers. That is my target market. And what I always say is clarity is cash. In my Be A Paid Speaker Online Academy, I talk about clarity is cash, clarity is cash, clarity is cash. So it's so important to know what your purpose is so that you know where to direct yourself. So I quit my job, long story short, very long story. Uh, I quit my job 
after like going part-time and really getting coaching, which I highly recommend you do. Uh, and I got coaching and I decided, okay, I'm ready to go on my own. I had a lot of clients. I think I had like 35 coaching clients a week. And then I also had my professor gig. And then because I was going to Toastmasters, people asked me, where do you speak and how much do you charge? And I was like, people get paid to speak. Wow. I didn't know that. And I got my first speaking engagement. And I told them, you know, how much do you pay? And they said 250. I said, fantastic. I'm there. And I drove to San Diego and my speaking career began 18 years ago, speaking for the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, San Diego and Mana. They had partnered up. I was empowering Latino professionals, another niche that found me. So clarity is cash. Clarity is who are you here to serve? You know, I'm here to serve mental health professionals. I'm here to serve people that serve others. And then who is your audience? For a lot of my speaking engagements for General Electric, Procter & Gamble, JP Morgan, who else? New York Life, State Farm, so many organizations, countless colleges, universities, and women's Latino associations. They found me because I was one of maybe 15 Latina speakers that were out there getting paid to speak around the nation. And I realized that this was something that I love to do. This was something that was so natural for me to do. And it wasn't until recently that I realized that there are a lot of experts out there like you that have messages that you want to get out to the world. And you are the messenger. They need to hear the message from you and only you. And why do I say that? Because you have unique life experiences. You have education. You have experiences. You have expertise. I have seven E's in the academy that I talk about. You have so many things that have made you who you are, and people need to hear it from your voice. So the first thing I say to people when they come to me for coaching or in my online academy is clarity is cash. What is a problem that you have a burning desire to solve? What is a problem, a passion that people come to you for the answer to? And you really want to not think about it too much because when you think about it, you'll say to yourself, I know, because I've coached so many people, is, well, what do people pay for and where should I go? That's not the place of creativity, your left brain. Your left brain is for thinking and problem solving creativity is your right brain. Go to the beach, go out in nature, get a crayon, get a marker, get a magazine and cut out pictures, images, create a vision board of the ideal audiences that you would be excellent for. Because this is the innovation, the creativity that comes from the right brain. And you have to know that pain pushes until vision pulls, says one of my other mentors, Dr. Michael Beckwith. He's, he's actually the one that trained me to be a licensed spiritual practitioner. And now I speak and do deliver sermons um, Sundays at a center in the Antelope Valley. And I would never have the guts or the courage or the chutzpah to speak at a spiritual center unless he, he believed in me. And he said, pain pushes until vision pulls. And many people come to spiritual centers because they're in pain, because they're in a struggle, because they're in a challenge. But there is a vision that's within you that is pulling you. There is something that you have always taught, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in huge groups, that people need to know, that they're dying to know, that they're praying for, that they're looking for answers for. And when you allow yourself to allow your passion to fuel your purpose, you can be paid for it, but only when you're clear, because again, clarity is cash. So let me ask you another question, because like I said before, the quality of our life is based on the quality of the questions you ask. And you want to get really curious during this process of developing your brand as a speaker. You don't want to rush it. You don't want to push it. You don't want to make it happen. You want to allow it to bubble up and to come within you. 
So what you want to ask yourself is, what are the challenges that I've overcome in my life? So I talk about in my uh, Confessions of an Adrenaline Addict book, my addiction challenges, right? I think I had every single addiction and uh, been to hell and back, right? <laughs> and I, other challenges I've had, uh, two brothers with disabilities, one brother passing away, that challenge. Cha I, I did a lot of keynote speaking in the beginning of my career on diversity, talking about what it's like to be raised by a Colombian dad and a Lithuanian mother, you know, never being Latin enough for the Latin culture or white enough for the white culture, always feeling like I didn't fit in and realizing that everybody feels like they don't fit in. Now they call it bullying, you know, and helping people to really come to terms with their authentic self. And so when we think about these challenges, these challenges can be our speaking titles. These, this could be the topic that we speak on. One of my challenges was doing too much, just adrenaline addiction to the max. So when I first started speaking, I spoke on work-life balance. And first, I will tell you, I thought it was God's funny joke. Because I was like, why do people keep asking me to speak on balance? And it was at a time I was so out of balance. And it was kind of like the universe is God's way of saying to me, Deborah, you need to live it to give it. You need to practice what you preach and you need to be embracing balance. And for years I spoke, you know, on stress management, balance. So as a speaker, we are experts, but our career also evolves. So in the beginning of my career, a lot of it, was on stress management and work-life balance. And as time evolved and I got more comfortable and I started leading a team, I was doing a lot more workshops on peak performance because when you read my book, Confessions of an Adrenaline Addict, How to Achieve More with Less Effort, it's, it is about peak performance and how you can use the power of slowing down and adding those white space to achieve more. It is about the power of surrender and how when you let go of struggle that you can allow yourself to achieve more. But it was something that evolved in my experience through life, through work, through volunteer and living. So you all have these experiences. And what you want to realize is, what are you great at? What do people always come to you for? What is it that you've been writing about? What is it that you read about? The books that you've read indicate where your talents may be. Your talent may be so close to you that you don't even know. I'll give you an example, social media. So remember I told you I got my undergraduate in marketing? Uh, and when I worked for the state of California, I really wasn't doing counseling. I was marketing job fairs. I was doing publicity. I was on air doing a lot of TV spots. I was doing infomercials. I was basically a publicist <laughs> helping Latinos with disabilities get jobs. I was a publicist and doing a lot of marketing that got the program to be known around the state. We were a model pilot program for the entire state of California. But I didn't know that my gift was marketing because it was something that was so natural and so easy. So you, you may be so close to something that you're fantastic at that you may not even know. So here's an assignment for you. Ask your friends. Ask like five of your closest friends. What do you think that is my natural talent? What do you think is my skill? If there's one thing that you would ask me for help for, what would it be? Do a little survey. Ask people. Because what I found from doing that was that people wanted help from me with social media marketing. They saw that I was booking a lot of speaking engagements from my Facebook, from my YouTube, from my Instagram, from my LinkedIn. And they were like, how the heck are you doing this? And so I started helping people one by one, coaching, coaching. And then I got asked to speak. And I remember my first gig was speaking to CEOs of construction companies. And I was like, how am I going to help these CEOs of construction companies? But what I did was I taught them my expertise of social media marketing strategy. And from that gig, I ended up getting a three and a half year contract teaching social media to entrepreneurs. And from that contract, I got another contract that I'm going on the fifth year of working with the SBA and the South Bay SBDC teaching social media marketing, believe it or not.
So when you look to see what your talents and gifts are, they may be so close to you, you may not even know it. For example, helping people to be paid to speak. I was just doing this for the past 18 years, using my intuition, my intuitive guidance system, using my marketing strategies that were just natural to me, and using my law of attraction, spiritual principles that are just a part of my personality and who I am. And when I combined all three of those things, marketing, law of attraction, and taking those strategies on social media, I was getting booked nonstop. So when people said, can you help me to get booked? I created the Be A Paid Speaker Now Online Academy so that people, because I I couldn't coach the amount of people that were asking me and I wanted to be able to help everyone. I'm like, well, what if I just made an online course? Oh my goodness. So there are gems that you have. There are opportunities that you have to be able to really transform the world. Some of you may be activists. I was just listening to an amazing interview today um, with Maria Shriver. She is a person and her family, you know, creating the Special Olympics and um, the Peace Corps. I mean, the Kennedy family is just all about creating a better world. So you may want to think about what upsets you, what makes you upset, makes you angry. Maybe that is your gift to the world. When you think about what makes you upset, what makes you angry, turn that into your speaking career. Go around and like the Mothers Against Drunk Driving Woman and talk about how we can make safer roads for people. People that are upset about people texting and driving. People that are upset about inequality, injustice in the world. Whatever upsets you may be your movement, maybe your opportunity to serve, to be of service, and really make a difference in the world. You may also want to think about what is a cause or something that's out in the world that is not talked about enough. I'll never forget going to the Green Build Conference and hearing Al Gore speak on global warming. His passion, what upset him, the problem that he saw in the world poured into this speech. I wish he had that passion when he was running for president because he lit that stage on fire because he was really, really committed to ending this global problem. Some of you may be speaking on something that's maybe your favorite hobby. Maybe your favorite hobby is like, uh, I saw a TED talk of this woman that loved scuba diving. That was her favorite hobby. And from her love from scuba diving, she became um, really in love with killer whales that were extinct. So she became a speaker from her hobby of scuba diving. So really what you want to do um, is really ask yourself powerful questions like this and allow yourself to be still, get out in nature, listen to the answers. Don't think about them. Listen to the divine downloads. Oftentimes we think we need to figure things out. Not when it comes to creativity. We need to open and be receptive to hear, listen, and take the inspired action so we know the next steps. And that's really what this Be a Paid Speaker Now podcast is all about. It's to help you get clarity so you can be paid abundantly to do what you love. You're an expert. You have unique talent, skills, and abilities. You are the messenger for the message. And when you get your message out to the masses, you will be creating a better world. And that's my soul's contract to allow my brother's legacy, my brother David's legacy, for me to help the helpers of the world, for me to be available to give you the tools, whether it's the social media marketing tools, whether it's the mindset for success tools, whether it's introducing you to someone to create that power of synergy. My legacy is to help you and position you to be able to have success with ease and grace, to not have to go through the struggles. And I'm going to be interviewing on this podcast, my mentors. I'm going to be interviewing people that I wish were my mentors that will become them once they're on the show. I am going to go out of my way to make sure that you have the alignment with 
receiving the money that you're worth by interviewing money experts and mindset coaches so that you're going to get all the information to be successful, to hit that stage and to do it with so much confidence that they're going to ask you back over and over and over again. So that's really what you can expect from this podcast. I really believe that each one of you is a messenger for the message and whether you want to be on huge stages and do keynote speeches or whether you want to do breakout workshops or whether you want to just do online trainings, you're more comfortable one-on-one doing webinars and creating passive income for yourself that way. I am here to help you. I am here to support you. I'm here to give you the tools and strategies to allow it to unfold for success with ease and with grace. My name is Deborah Darris and I'm your host of the Be A Paid Speaker Now podcast and online academy. If you want more information on the online academy, you could get my free ebook and be notified when it goes live at debradaris.com slash speak now. D-E-B-O-R-A-H-D-E-R-A-S.com slash speak now. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next week for more juicy secrets to get you paid to hit that stage. If you would like to grab my free ebook on how to be a confident speaker, go to www.debradaris.com slash speak now. And remember, you are the messenger for the message. See you next week.